I'm making this video because Apple just released the Liquid Glass UI and which made me think because I'm building apps on React Native and there are friends and colleagues who build their apps on Flutter. Now I was thinking what will happen to both of these frameworks in the coming future? Not just on the Liquid Glass but Android is pushing on a different kind of UI every year and Apple is moving on to this direction. Which framework is the best bet for the next five years? And that's why I'm making this video. So this video is going to be a little bit controversial why i genuinely never liked flutter from the start and why react native has been my go-to for mobile app development for almost seven years now this isn't about just hating on flutter it's about deeply understanding why i made the choices i did and why those choices might matter to you as well so let me give you a little bit of context seven years ago i was working as a senior android developer i was building native android apps with java and then kotlin was recently introduced but here Here's the thing, I started noticing something that iOS had a much stronger monetization model and a broader use base for premium apps. And here I was building Android uh, and being an Android dev, feeling kind of trapped because I wasn't building for iOS. Now I had two choices, either learn Objective-C or maybe Swift, which was at that time was really new, or maybe jump onto this exciting new framework, which was coming out from Facebook called React Native. Uh, my colleagues back then were already building web apps using React and honestly javascript felt a little bit accessible to me so i thought let's give this react native thing a shot so i built a poc for my own company uh, within a month and i deployed it first on ios and it felt liberating one massive aha moment was that hot reload which react native provides instantly seeing your ui changes as i type code felt kind of like magical building compiling and then watching them on your android debugger devices fast forward a couple of years i was loving react native for building both in Android natively in Kotlin and cross-platform apps in React Native and then Flutter popped up and it popped up everywhere literally everyone online was hyping Flutter up Google clearly did an amazing job marketing it I got a little bit curious myself could Flutter solve some of the React Native quirks I was occasionally facing back then like some performance bottlenecks due to the bridge architecture um, like the animations were not that smooth if you are communicating via the bridge a lot so Flutter promised seamless but really smooth 60 fps animations and that unmatched customization that sounded very tempting to me and i think to everyone who was watching to those marketing blogs or videos by those influencers but as i dug deeper i quickly got turned off first flutter used dart a completely new language now don't get me wrong dart was easy enough kind of like java or like kotlin here's the catch learning dart only allowed me to build flutter apps with javascript i could build web apps mobile apps desktop apps servers you name it like javascript is everywhere so dart felt in a way like restrictive i'm just learning a new language just to make apps for ios and android now i was still invested like okay let's see how big of a deal it is if i even if i learn then what are the pros and cons then came the real shocker to me when i read a lot more about flutter like flutter doesn't use the native ui component it basically opens a blank canvas as an app and uses its own rendering engine which is called iskia that paints everything on top of that canvas so in simple terms flutter apps aren't apps and for me this was a massive no-no why to mimic a native ui when native ui already exists and evolves continuously i felt like react native is a much better approach to go cross-platform than like making your own mimicking your own elements android and ios regularly update their ui layers and patterns and this is i've been saying a lot every time i had a discussion with any tech founder or any tech ceo or cto i usually bring this point up like in future these companies or this ios or android ecosystem system can change their ui and then flutter team will always be catching this catch-up game where they will be building or trying to mimic their ui behavior which can't be more truer than today because now apple is releasing this new liquid class system i'm pretty sure this will be a nightmare to mimic for flutter devs because apple has done amazing job in making those elements they have invested thousands or maybe ten thousand hours of engineering hours making them pixel perfect making them truly which felt like a part of your hardware now mimicking 
them is again over engineering by flutter team and i saw online like in twitter couple of developers have already ported these elements the native elements in react native which is pretty easy because react native you just need to upgrade the sdk and you just talking to other native elements which are already there in the ios 26 but for flutter they'll have to again draw them on that engine by themselves so when i use an app even you know little bit of inconsistencies break my trust like if i'm using a messaging app i expect all the other messaging app to look and feel and as smooth and familiar as i have been to like with whatsapp with telegram with imessage but flutter apps especially on ios often reveal themselves with slightly off dialogues weird padding inconsistent broken sizes users may not pinpoint exactly why but something always feels off i also remember like back then companies also started approaching me looking specifically for flutter devs they saw my profile like i'm building mobile apps so they thought well i'm also building flutter apps and they started their teams with junior developers who are building flutter apps so they wanted to convince me to this hype as well like yes flutter is the next best bet and i had several conversations with ctos sharing these exact concerns which i'm making this video about and it always boiled down to this why to rebuild your ui elements from scratch that apple and google have already perfected why not spend your energy resource and your engineering resources on perfecting your apps usp not just rebuilding the whole ui ecosystem so if your app is like say duolingo a gamified learning experience now flutter actually makes sense there because flutter for me makes sense if you are building a kind of a game ui where everything is so customizable that you do not even want to touch what android and ios is giving to you you want to build your own dialogue you want to build your own animated buttons you want so much freedom in customization because you are kind of building a game you are not really making an app now what is an app what is a game that's a again a very different topic if you are making a productivity app or a social media app that demands native like behavior flutter just feels like unnecessary extra work to me honestly if i could sit down with the flutter team today i'd have a straightforward suggestion let developers use kotlin or java or javascript so many android devs already know kotlin why to force them to learn dart and start marketing flutter honestly as a gaming or custom ui engine rather than a complete native app solution do not try to mimic the native uis just let developers decide what kind of ui they want to build maybe make a couple of uh, ui libraries yourself which feel more fresh than what these ios and android based material ui or cupertino feels like and i'm pretty sure liquid glass ui would not be even possible without investing huge amount of engineering resources now if you are just starting today my advice is simple don't blindly follow the hype with ai tools today learning swift or kotlin isn't hard start with native ios development there is strong monetization potential as well if you want to go to that route and understanding native gives you a huge edge later expand into cross-platform with react native if needed but understand the basics first it makes you a stronger developer in the long run so remember there is no single best framework your decision should always depend on your team's strength your app's purpose and most importantly your user's experience don't choose based on marketing noise choose based on genuine needs and thoughtful consideration now thanks for listening if you like this real talk drop a comment below what do you think about flutter versus react native versus any other framework i'd love to hear your experiences and we'll catch you on the next one there is kmm on the rise uh, maybe i'll make a new video about kmm as well